Thank you very much, Rosling. And just like we've been saying and be talking about it, that we're going to give A to Z coverage of everything that's happening this year at the Chaluate Street Arts Festival. Today marks the first day of this year's festival, of course, and we're here at the Osu Castle and... This morning, yeah, there's not too much happening, but then the artists are here getting ready, you know, bringing uh, life to blank walls, as we're seeing. But later in the afternoon, the procession will start. But um, here is a lady who is, you know, doing something very, I don't know, but I find it extraordinary, Charity. Good morning. Good morning. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Now, um, looking at your art, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm very curious to find out. I'm seeing one neck down there. No, I'm seeing th three three necks and uh, three different heads different faces what's the inspiration what is it really about um it's about um the sabali women and the sabali women are actually from west africa and then it talks about the fight or their contribution towards freedom of the slave uh, of the slaves and then um, it's not ju just about physical contribution but also spiritual contribution so this is like more like three heads or three ideas put together to fight for freedom and the power of women towards freedom. Okay, but you, you mentioned three heads to fight. Uh, that's, it's giving me a vibe like unity. W what really is the meaning to that? Yes, the meaning to that is if we come together as women, we'll be able to fight um, and get freedom. Yeah, that's what I think. And um, 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 luckily for me this year, it happens to be my... Um, third year and three times in a row the only female muralist so I'm excited being here and showing the world what we can do as women too <laughs> well th this is really mesmerizing but um, tell me what what inf uh, what informed your decision for the colors you used yes um, we decided to do vibrant colors this year so that we show people that it's not about being spiritual and dark but also being spiritual and being vibrant and telling our story as Africans. So how long or how many days, let me put it that way, did it take you to bring out this? Um, about um, a week now, but um, I'll have one more week and then I'll be done. So I'm doing live painting. I want everybody to come around and come and see me do painting live. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wow. I'm excited. Yeah. Yeah, this is quite interesting. So if you're watching, make sure that you make your way to uh, the Chalwate Festival. Whether we're going to move from here to, in, uh, to the Independence Square, we're we'll bringing you all of that. But this is what's happening currently here at Osu Castle. So um, let's go behind there and let's see what's happening. Right. Um, there's another. <laughs> wow. Whoa. This is so beautiful. Oh my God. Hi. Please come close to me and let's have. A, 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 I mean, a conversation. I'm seeing. I'm seeing three heads, but it looks like. Is, is that a goat's head? No, actually, it's a zebra. We're not done. It's what? Zebra. Zebra. Okay, so tell me about your painting. What's the inspiration behind it? It basically uh, stems from the, the theme of the festival, which is Magneto Motherland. He talks about we revisiting our past and knowing we, we actually are not the created version of ourselves through religion, the Western religion, the education, and politics. You said this is a zebra. Yeah. So how, how does this even uh, correlate or what's the relation between the zebra and our past? You know, we, 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 we can't talk about who we are neglecting our immediate environment. So we have to incorporate all that into it. Wow. Looking at the different colors and everything, how, how many days did it take you to do this? Uh, actually, this is our fourth appearance. No, I mean, for this particular painting, how long did it take you to put this together? And I see that you're still working on it. Four, this is the fourth time. This we is are the fourth working. year? Yeah, fourth time we are working on this. Fourth time. So it's been four days? Yeah. yeah. Wow. And I mean, Chalwate has been in existence for 13 years. How many years have you been? Uh, we came somewhere around 2016. And then somewhere 2020, we came back again. And then it, it's been consistent. Wow. So um, you tell me, with the colors, I'm seeing something like a dolphin out there. A fish. It's a fish. Okay. So what informed the colors? Fishes are not violet. 
yeah, it is an abstract a bit. It, it has an abstract a bit of it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm seeing different colors, and I would love you to tell me why you decided to use red down here, why you're using violet up there, and the white heads of the zebra. The zebra we are not down, as I said. Okay. But for the, the red and all this, it's a way to attract the viewer. Okay. Yeah, we, want, we wanted it to, to be colorful. Oh. Yeah. That's beautiful. So if anybody is to ask, like you've told me that it's a zebra and you, you want us to um, relate this to our past and where we're coming from, are you going to be doing this the entire week or you're about finishing? Uh, we're almost done. Yeah, we're almost done. You're almost done with it. So it means that if anybody's to pass through, you're not going to do any other paintings. It's just this one you're doing. Uh, no, I think we'll be doing all the, all the other ones, but not today. Oh, okay. Yes. Thank you so much for speaking to us, and I'm sure we'll see you uh, within the week. Yes, thank you so much. So this is what's happening at the Osu Castle the morning of the first day of the Chaluati Street Arts Festival. Rosling, this is what's happening here at the Osu Castle. Um